Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. Jessica Moore is off. We begin tonight with the search for a gunman who opened fire on a subway train, killing a fellow passenger. Police say the suspect fled the Canal Street subway station in Chinatown. That's where CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis is with details. Jenna. Dana, police released the identity of the victim, 48-year-old Daniel Enriquez. Police say he was riding the train when a man he had no prior contact with shot him, got off the train, and ran. A horrifying morning for those on board a Manhattan-bound Q train sitting in the last car when the unexpected happened. According to witnesses, the suspect was walking back and forth in the same train car and without provocation pulled out a gun and fired it at the victim at close range as the train was crossing the Manhattan Bridge. Police responded to Canal Street subway station around 11.45 this morning to find 48-year-old Daniel Enriquez shot in the chest. He was rushed to Bellevue Hospital, but didn't make it. Investigators say the suspect was already gone, and they're calling on witnesses for help. Help us find this guy, right? There's other people riding the train. We have some of them. Others who saw something, maybe somebody who took a photo or some video on their cell phone, please share it with us. The NYPD says it's pushing more officers into the subway system, echoed by Mayor Eric Adams in an audio clip provided by his press secretary. We're going to increase that uniform presence, and it's also we're going to have those officers uh, that one may not know they are police officers to ensure that we can find those who are carrying out crimes such as this. But news of another subway shooting just six weeks after 10 people were shot on a train in Brooklyn has commuters feeling uneasy. I feel unsafe. I kind of want to get in an Uber right now. Um, that's really messed up. The violence just seems to be random. It gets, it's very nerve-wracking. Um, it doesn't seem like anyone's doing anything to stop it. It seems like the police presence is focused on uh, keeping people from hopping the rails rather than keeping Carlton D'Souza is president of advocacy group Passengers United. I've been pleading with the MTA and the elected officials, please put cameras in the subway cars. We need to make New Yorkers feel confident that they can ride the trains, they can get safely from point A to point B. Again, no arrests have been made. Police are looking through surveillance video and speaking to witnesses, but again, asking anybody with information to come forward. We're live in Chinatown. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Jenna.